Hello guys, I'm going to show you guys how to use Kenway's fleet in Assassin's Creed. Now the first thing you need to do is get to your ship. So I'm on this island, I'm going to go to my ship right now. Uh, and once you get to your ship, what you need to do is you need to go into your little den, or your little deck, whatever it's called. So I'm going to go down in here. Once you enter, of course, you can do your upgrades and your ships and that kind of stuff to the right. You can use your outfits and swords and pistols to the left. And, of course, right in the middle on the table is your fleet. Now, in the beginning of the game, when I first started, I never accessed my fleet. I thought it was the stupidest thing ever. There's no point. Why the hell would you ever use this? So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to access my fleet. So, basically, what this is, is it's kind of the replacement to you can send off assassins and that kind of thing since ever since Brotherhood, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. And now they've kind of replaced it with this ship thing. Now, basically, what this is, is you see all the lines right there? That's your total docks and how many ships you have in the docks. Now, um, as you can see, this ship, it's, ask, it's giving me, right as I come in, it doesn't let me do anything. It just says, hey, add more docks, ignore for now, or salvage for whatever. So I only have 13 docks, and I already have 13 ships there. Now, I destroyed this Man of War last time I was playing, and I sent it to my fleet. Now, you get three options. You can add more docks, but obviously I don't have enough money in the top right. I have 1,400, and I need 3,000 to unlock another dock. I can ignore it for now, but I, I'm going to have to make this decision anyway, so I don't know why you, why you do that. So I'm just going to currently salvage it for that much gemstones, because really I, I can't do any other option, and this will... The more salvaging you do, the more gemstones you get so you can up so you can unlock more docks. So that's just kind of what you gotta do. Alright, so I'm just gonna salvage it. Okay, so once I just salvaged that, now it's giving me my mission reports. So when I sent out current when I sent out ships last time I was playing, it's um it takes like many hours. So this is actually last night, and now this morning I came back on, so overnight they were, it's live when you're not playing the game. Um, you, there's actually an app you can get on your iPhone that you can monitor them from there. But anyways, um, so this one succeeded, so I can just hit resume. I got that much money, and I traded that that many much resources for that much money. Basically, that that's what this thing is. You trade resources for money. But that's not the reason I'm playing. The main reason I'm playing this thing is to get the wardrobe. I actually have unlocked every single outfit in the game, and I just need the last one, and, and it's the gov- No, not the governors. Whatever it's called, but it's the- uh, I'll show it up on screen right now. It's the, um, it's the sweet-ass outfit you get, and it's the one that I want to wear. Um, so I'm trying to play this a shit ton. So anyways, traded those resources for that, and I got a collectible. And I guess we're just going to keep going through. So, it's definitely a money maker, but it's not worth the money in my opinion. You'd, you'd rather go, you know, kill off a bunch of ships for $1,000 instead of do this kind of crap. But, yeah, and, and yes, you, as you can see, I sent out quite a bit. Um, Alright, new ship upgrade. Oh, diamond sails. Why the hell are they green? Okay, nice. Two grand, so I mean, I guess maybe it's worth it, but I don't know, I don't find it. For the amount of money you get versus how much time you spend and how much fun it actually is, it's just, I don't know. But anyways, this is actually the main GUI of the little mini game, Kenway's Fleet. Now, so your ships in progress is really something you'll never really look at. You, you can see in 45 minutes, I'm going to have these two return. I never really look at that, um, and I rarely ever look at my fleet. So as you can see, I can repair this ship for, you know, press X, repair it. Um, I'm actually playing on PC, but I'm using a controller if you guys are wondering. Anyways... These are two ships I should probably salvage and replace with Man of Wars because, as you can see, I have two brigs and all of a sudden I got a frigate, two frigates, and then all of a sudden just pure Man of Wars. Um, and obviously I gotta add these two docks. But anyways, you rarely ever look at this unless you're just gonna show off your ships to somebody. I don't see the reason to look at your fleet, or I guess you can go to the fleet to add a dock. But anyways, the naval map is the main thing you want to look at. Now. Just kind of ignore all these names. It's literally just places. It doesn't really matter. Like, South Atlantic isn't really, like, more of a, um, like a harder place or more loot. All you have to do is just look at... You can see the colors on here. That's representing how hard it is to get to that destination to, you know, trade your resources. So, as you can see, these are really easy to do, and I can send all of these. But look at the rewards. 150. You know, in the beginning, you're going to have to do this, but it's just... So start off with this when you know when you first start out, but for me, I am not gonna want to be doing that. I'm gonna want to be you know going to Portugal, 
and getting all that loot as you can see the 80 and the 60 i don't really know exactly know what those numbers mean to be honest but i just look at those higher numbers so this is 90 80 i'm gonna be going to cape verde or whatever verde and as you can see i can trade this one but let's see i could send a, a man of war it should, which would get there in time but Sooner or later, you're going to be running out of resources. So let's say I send my ship there. It's going to make it 100%. It's a man of war. So um, let's see. Okay, let's say my odds of success. Let's say you only had brigs. So I'm going to send a brig right now. I have a 69% chance. I can't even send it because it doesn't have enough car cargo. But it's just an example. I have a 69% chance. If I go back and I go back to Cape Verde and I hit ship battle, what this is going to do, it's going to let me battle their ships and take down their ships and it's gonna um, make it easier to go that route and what this also does is as you can see my resources at the top you need resources to trade you can't go to these areas let's say I go to this and let's say I want to go to let's say I want to do this job right here I don't have enough feathers to go there so what you need to do is you need to battle ships now when I first was battling ships let's see let's go into a ship battle and let's pick um, let's repair this real quick Let's put a frigate and a man of war and obviously in and, and i don't really in, the odds of success is kind of nice but it kind of is like oh i'm gonna 100 percent win this okay what's the point of you know you don't really get the fun out of it if they're gonna tell you if you're gonna win or not i don't know but anyways now you see the little barrels at the bottom in the beginning i had 10 you start out with 10 barrels in the beginning and in the beginning i thought oh crap i'm out of barrels and i'm never gonna win and my ships would just sit there literally you just need to keep sitting there and waiting and your ships will start attacking by themselves see i was i was afraid i was like what the hell what's going on so i rarely ever shoot my fire barrels anymore because i almost win 100 percent of the time i've never lost to be honest so the the fire barrels are kind of if you want to win faster um all they do is just shoot it next to them and you do you do some more damage that's all it is but literally just sit there let your ships do the thing and you you literally don't do anything you just kind of sit there and wait that's how this mini game is. So we just won, victorious, and then at the top we're gonna get some more of those diamonds and resources. As you can see, I got 50 feathers, and so now I'm gonna be able to do that one mission. So let's go to Cape Verde. As you can see, it says it's dangerous now, but it's not treacherous like it was before. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the one that I couldn't do, and it's gonna be 79% chance. But as you can see, I don't have enough cargo. I need to send a God of War because it has enough cargo. I'm going to repair this from that last battle. And then I'm going to send this right over there. There we go, ship departed. And then you literally will have to wait 24 hours for this one. And, you know, so when I get on tomorrow with this time, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to get the resources. Or actually, I'm going to get the reward 3400 from this. And then it'll see. And then another thing, too, is that when you look around. So actually, let's go back to that, Cape Verde. As you can see... What I just sent, it says you will unlock Galway. So it will tell you if I unlock things. So that's what I like to do is I like to go through all of these. And I'll say, nope, not unlock anything. Okay, look right here. We'll unlock Cape Town. So not, they're not actual cities that you can you know travel to in the actual game. It's just more cities that you can trade with. But I think sometimes, I don't know if it tells you, but you can get like little collectibles. Um, I think... And I don't know. I don't know if you can do anything with the collectibles. I think sometimes you can put them like in on your ship, you know, as like um like an, an appearance type thing. I have no idea, but I've just noticed that you random random times when you when you get a ship back from um, sending it out, you'll get a collectible item. Sometimes I really do not care. All I do is I want the outfit. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this wasn't too confusing. Um, to be honest, I don't really understand it fully. I just want to explain to you guys how I understand it because when I first started trying this thing, I was confused as hell. I, did, I, didn't, I didn't know what to do. And I, I guess I get confused really easily, so I don't even know if I'm going to be helping people out. But just the main thing to remember is keep battling ships and keep sending them to your fleet. If you're not really, really low on, on, uh, on health, like with your ship when you're battling people, send it to your fleet. It doesn't matter. Even if it's a crappy ship, send it to your fleet because you can just get more gemstones from it you can salvage it and just get more money so if a lot of the times when i would destroy a ship prior to knowing this i would just heal myself even though i was at full health because i didn't know what else to do with the ship send it to your fleet 
grab some gemstones off of it and salvage it. If it's really good, like usually every time I get a Man of War, I'll instantly like add another dock or add it to my fleet. I won't salvage it, but in that situation that I showed in the beginning, I had to because I didn't have enough gemstones to uh, unlock a new dock. So, basically, you can just keep sitting here and doing your shit, and then once you run out of ships, you're just gonna have to wait. That's how it is. Like, I've sent off all my ships before, and you just have to wait, which kind of sucks, but... Um, I guess, I guess if you don't have enough docks unlocked, you can just, you can go, um, kill some more ships and send them to your fleet, salvage until you get enough money to add another dock, and then add, uh, a new ship, and then you can do it that way. Alright, so after recording this video, I actually got the officer's outfit. Now, I'm gonna show you guys how to get it. Now, when I was telling you guys that you can go through each of the, uh, missions, and then you can choose, you can, you can, it has a little, um, exclamation mark on, or exclamation point, and, you know, you can unlock different islands and different places to trade, different locations. Um, just keep doing as much of those as possible. Go to every single island or go to every single mission and see if you can unlock more missions. Um, so I would rarely ever just do a mission just for money. I would just go to each one. If it had an exclamation point, I would do it. And then I would come back and I would get all of these new areas and all of these new locations to trade with. And then one of those locations is Mediterranean Sea 2. But for some random reason, sometimes when I come back to it, it says Mediterranean Sea 3, Mediterranean Sea 4. It'll be Mediterranean Sea something. And when you go in there, you'll see Great Reputation 1. It's going to have an exclamation mark on or point on it. And that's how you get the officer's outfit. Now, I personally didn't get it from that. And I was really confused why. But my little brother actually plays on this same account, not my same account, but he made a new account on the same computer. And, and he did that mission and got the officer's outfit, and it unlocked it for me as well. So if you guys are confused why, you know, one person got it, but then you did the, one person on your computer got it, but then another person on your computer didn't get it, it's because you already have it unlocked. Because I guess it kind of works both ways with, this, with um, two different profiles on there. So just in case you guys had any questions about that. But yes, it is Mediterranean Sea, Great Reputation 1, do that. And um, you have the officer's outfit and it's pretty damn badass. So hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I hope I wasn't too confusing. I talk really fast and I might be confusing or I might be talk, um, explaining it in a way that is confusing to people. But hope that wasn't the case um if you guys would like to see more assassin's creed 4 that would be awesome because i'm really enjoying it and i'm really really far and I, I would like to just show you guys um just my my world and how it is and um if you guys have any questions if you're confused by anything else i'd love to explain some more things to you but anyways guys i want to thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys later